why specifically are, are you at Hub Comics today doing a signing? What, what are you promoting today? Uh, well, I'm here for the recent release of uh, the collected hardcover of um, Wednesday Comics. And uh, just today, I guess two comics actually came out. So the Harley Quinn one-shot uh, for DC and then this uh, villain variant cover for Marvel. Excellent, excellent. Um, now, as you, as you just said, you've, you've done some work with the, the Batman universe. Um, mm-hmm. What did you find particularly... Uh, interesting about that. Why, why did you choose to go with, with Batman? Or was it thrust upon you? Uh, well, a little bit of each. I mean, that's kind of like, I, I don't, you know, go to DC and be like, this is what I want to work on. Um, <laughs> It'd be nice if it worked that way, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would, but it doesn't work quite, quite work that way. Uh, no, they um, just kind of came up and they were like, hey, would you like to do a Harley Quinn issue? And I was like, God, yes. Uh, excellent, excellent. Because, uh, you know, I just, I've always loved that universe and, you know, Batman was maybe like, I think it was kind of the first comic I got into, or at least one of the first. Excellent. And, um, you know, I've always been a fan of that mythology and, you know, Batman the Animated Series, uh, where Harley Quinn came from, I was a huge fan of. Um, and so, yeah, I jumped right at that opportunity. So, What would you say has been your, your favorite pro- project that you've done so far? Say maybe, maybe a comic or a character that you've done for a comic? Uh, well, easily, this, is, this would be my favorite project I've done so far, um, just because it was such an innovative uh, uh, gig, and you know, I got to work huge, and um, it was just really exciting to be working with like, Kurt Busiek, who's like, an amazing writer, and, and be in this um, collection with all these other amazing artists. Like, just, it was just an awesome experience. Um, as far as what was your favorite characters, I guess? Mm-hmm. Uh, Green Lantern was sort of off my radar uh, as as a character. I sort of was like aware that he existed and um, didn't really have opinions about him either way before I started this project. Um, afterwards, I'm a big fan of him uh, and you know super psyched for the movie. Excellent. Uh, now, now, why would Green Lantern? You would say Green, Green Lantern would be your favorite character. He's not my favorite, but I've come no. ar- I've come around okay. to him as a character. I as a, if I were to pick a favorite character, it would be. I guess Batman. Um, do you have any upcoming projects that you'd like our watchers to know about? Um, well, I guess in the back of Wednesday Comics here, they uh, kind of announced um, that I'm doing a, a longer graphic novel for DC uh, next. Yeah. It's um, with Paul Dini, which I'm super psyched about. He's like cool. an amazing writer. Um, I pretty much love everything he does. Uh, and uh, it's going to be... Um, a 96-page graphic novel uh, spotlighting Black Canary and Zatanna. Nice. Um, which su- should be super fun. And uh, I'm kind of just getting going on that and will hopefully be done by the end of the year and it'll come out sometime after that. Excellent. So, um, Now, as an art student, you know, I know I have millions of questions that I'd love to ask you, but for our fans that might be interested in art, what advice would you give to aspiring comic book artists that are in school now or in high school or wherever they are? Um, I draw constantly. Uh, look at yourself with an extremely critical eye. Um, be able to take criticisms on the chin. Uh, and um, uh, and uh, be really, really persistent. Uh, you know, comics uh, especially are really, really hard to get into. Um, and there's so many people vying for those jobs that uh, you, you have to sort of figure out a way for your voice to be heard, um, but in a way that is not uh, uh, overly aggressive or annoying. I mean, you, I mean, you have to understand that editors kind of get emails or, well, not phone calls really, but emails all the time or are sort of harassed at uh, conventions constantly. And there's just a sea of people out there. Um, and you might be amazing, but uh, you know if you're a jerk, uh, you're not necessarily going to get looked at. You, know, you have to realize that um, you know they are people and they want to work with nice people. So it's uh, you know be persistent. Um, you know constantly be sort of pestering, pestering these people, <laughs> but, but uh, not to the point where you're like um, you're uh, you're being too aggressive. I guess. So excellent, excellent. Yeah. Um, do you, is there any place online that you have um, to showcase your work? 
Uh, I do. I um, uh, I have a, a domain for a website that's not up yet, but I have a blog that I update frequently, um, and that's uh, joequinonis.blogspot.com. Um, that's it. Thank All right. Well, thank you for your time. You've been a wonderful interview. Yeah. And we hope to see you around again. Thanks so much. This is Sam reporting live for nerdcaliber.com, signing off.